Oh yeah, there go the lights. Yeah, turn on your lights, punk mother. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. He's gone. He's gone. He ain't sticking around. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to DOJ. Jumping in here, doing some criminal activity. Now, this one is going to get good for the people who like chaos and craziness. Decided to do one of these, which we have not done in a long time, which is trying to mess and take out as many cops as possible. Um, now, obviously, obviously, as you can see, my outfit is very tactical and, uh, you know, very assault-esque, I guess you could say. It's later in the night in the server, so messing with people for a little, I guess, won't be that big of a deal. But I'll go ahead and go over my loadout. As you can see, we have ourselves a suppressed pistol, a light machine gun, a silenced AK-47, a sniper rifle, and I believe that's it. Uh, I don't think we have any more dual slotted weapons in that. So that is going to be our four weapons that we're using for this assault today. One of them is staying on our back, but this one actually sounds really good uh, and all that fun stuff. So what we're going to do to make this a little more interesting so we can actually get away and uh, have as much time as we can to do this. We're going to go ahead. Oh, shit. Sorry. We're going to break out uh, the brake light on this bike, which did not work by sh <laughs> by shooting it. So that's that's really good. Am I able to break out the I have to be. If I can't, then, uh, oh, it's about to be daytime, too. Of course. So that means they're gonna... That's impossible. That's not how... I have to be able to break the brake light. Maybe if I take something and run into the back of it, I can uh, do that. I was expecting this episode to be in the nighttime, but I took too long setting up that uh, we kind of lost that opportunity. I should have kept it on. I guess we're going to have to just run over it a million t a times and see if that does it. I don't think you could break the brake light on a bike. Unless it's like a motorcycle. Which we might have to just switch the bike then. Oh yeah, that's still working perfectly fine. Isn't that just great? <laughs> Isn't that just fantastic? Uh, get away. Bike. All right, let's see what we could do here. Let's let's look at our options since it is about to be daytime. I don't want to just screw the pooch here. So let's look and see what we got. I should be able to break a uh, brake light on all these. So we just need to try to find some type of off-road bike uh, that we can break the brake light on. And I'm not really sure where that's going to be. That one didn't look bad. It had some nice tires on it. I feel like something like this wouldn't be as nimble as, uh, yeah, it has chains on it. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, wouldn't be as nimble as like a dirt bike, but unfortunately I just don't think the Enduro wouldn't be bad. I wonder if I could shoot out that one. I mean, this has to work. This is just... I shot it like 18 times. No, which is super surprising. You cannot break the brake light on a bike. That is just so interesting to now figure that out. I guess no one really ever realized that that was the case. So I guess braking is going to show our position. But then again, in the end of the day, if, um, you know, if, if we're off road anyways, they're not going to be able to really stick up with us. So let's find the best bike that's going to work for us in the condition of us doing what we're going to be doing. We want to be able to get away uh, and not really have any issues. This one would actually be nice because it's nice and uh, higher. And I could technically kill those. Oh yeah, I feel like this one would be it. This one has the style that we need uh, and all that stuff. Has no license plate, which means it can't be tracked to anyone or myself in particular. And we could probably even start some of this in the daytime too, which would be kind of cool. We'll shoot at a cop and uh, see if he gets spooked at all. And then we'll race off out of here. See if we could just get him riled up. See if they 
don't realize it's me or anything. Uh, so what we're going to do is probably get this one since it's silenced. Oh, wow. That is a legit scope. We're going to see if we come across anyone. Of course, because we have that detail, that like blurry stuff, it kind of looks blurry, but that's just because of the, uh, the stuff at play here. We don't want anyone to see us like come up on the side of us. So if we see a cop, we're going to try to shoot at him from like this far and then try to like sneak off onto the bike. I should probably have the bike a little more better positioned. We're going to do like some of this in first person, some of it not in first person. That way we have, uh, max control of what's going on. Okay. I got enough gas. I was kind of concerned about how much gas I had. I don't think there's any helicopter unit up, so we're going to be good on that aspect. I guess today, this guy is just fed up. Let's see if we can actually hit any cars. Damn, that sounds crazy. Hopefully people are picking that up as a silenced weapon. I don't know if they are. I don't know if they are at all. And I don't want to be rolled up on by a squad and then have them shoot me. Fuck, I can't tell if we're getting anyone either. That doesn't sound like it's silenced. Let me, uh, I gotta test this. I'm honestly not sure. Oh, fuck yeah, that's... <laughs> That's hella silence. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's, uh, that's not healthy. Someone's probably just hearing these shots, but I'm like somewhat blended in. It wasn't me. I think I got an idea. I know what, I know what hill I want to go on. I want to go on that big one all the way. Well, that now that I look at it, it's really not that big. I was really expecting it to be higher than it was, but honestly, I feel like this is the same size as that one. So maybe we should go down Route 6. I feel like I need it to be nighttime, because right now, we're, we're in a situation where we're going to get stuff screwed up. Since we're still in our base camp and we haven't left, and we've just kind of been testing everything out here. Oh, you know what I should do? Throw it in a nice mat. That way it doesn't pick up any uh, reflections or anything like that. Then it just looks like a guy is just floating in camo. Let's see what we got here. This is going to be, like I said, our base of operations to kind of see if we could get anything. I'm pretty sure I'd be able to get someone from over on this side. We've got to just kind of get it started. I've got to find someone, get them, and then uh, bounce. Is that someone over there? No. I don't want to shoot civilians. I'm going to go for the cops. I'm going to get the cops back for all the times they fucked with us. However many times that is or whatever they've done. We're just going to... Basically, we're waiting for a cop to pass. The first cop that passes is going to be the person that uh, we hit. And honestly, I don't think... With the color scheme that we're wearing, we are in some, like, good shit right now. This is going to be it, dude. This is going to be it. going to be on a Kraken. All right, we're going to get him riled up with this guy really quick. I don't know if he heard that or felt that. But if he did, he's going to get it hyped up. I don't know. He slowed down a little too much that I usually don't see people slow down. But that's the first person I saw in a few minutes there. So I was kind of getting antsy. I said I didn't want to shoot civilians. Oh, I think he turned around, dude. I think he straight up turned around. I think he stopped behind the sign. I'm not for sure, but I think that's what happened. Oh, there's a cop. There's a cop. Damn, son. Damn, son. It's go time, baby. He didn't even know where it happened from. 
We gotta bounce. We gotta watch ourselves on these rocks, though. We gotta watch ourselves. I gotta go the opposite way, I think. You know what? I'm gonna cut right across the airfield really quick. Right across it. That way we're not near the shooting, even though we got an assault rifle on our back. Okay, we lit that guy up. It's go time. Now we need to hide out for it to be nighttime because shit's getting real. I don't want shit to get too real. I gotta hide the bike and myself for a minute. Let's see if we could get tucked in this bush. Oh, my face. My face is not helping this situation. There we go. Okay, so we lit that cop up. Pretty freaking heavy with the uh, assault rifle. We had an extended mag on it. So that's we were why we were able to really dump uh, pretty much everything we had on that guy. You could tell he was responding to a call and then just all of a sudden got lit up. Didn't really know what to do. So he's like, I'm just going to drive away from this because I'm not trying to die today. Okay, so somehow I've managed to put myself in a tree. Um, I don't know how, but it actually is working. So I'm thinking... Holy shit. I think the 5 0 just passed. Holy crap. And I was in the tree and it worked. Okay. So I think tree cover might actually be pretty good because they're not expecting that. That's some shit I wasn't even expecting I could do. Uh, surprisingly, it actually stopped me and I'm uh, climbing in a tree. So GTA isn't as limited as we thought it was. So that's cool. Uh, interesting that my spot worked. So he didn't see my bike that's sitting under. That little bridge there. He didn't see me that was climbing a tree. So once this sun goes down, I'm going to try to find a good tree. Something that looks like that that I could stand in the middle of. And we're going to see if we can put ourselves up there. That way they pretty much don't know what hit them. They're literally not going to know where uh, the shots are coming from. Okay, someone just flew by. Let me see if I can shoot at him. Oh, I just shot at those motherfuckers too. Okay, we got to dip back over. It's still daytime, so we've got to be careful. We're, we're being sketchy now, but I'm getting bored sitting there, so... I was climbing trees. That's how bored I was just sitting there waiting for it to be nighttime. Oh, shit. Someone just blew up. Oh, shit. That was close. All right, we got to get up to this little uh, area over here, this house. And we've got to sit on, like, the side of this place just to lay low until the sun... Uh-oh. I hear a siren, but I'm not sure where. We're gonna stick on this trail and go to this house. That seems to be the best location. Once nighttime hits, we're gonna be able to go crazy here. We're gonna park up here in the shade. Okay, truck looks to be leaving. Everything seems good. So we shot at that guy. I don't know if he kept going. I see... see some type of sports car down there. I don't know if it's a real person or not. I don't see any police activity on that road, so... Maybe he didn't... Maybe the shots didn't register on the vehicle. He was able to get too far down the road. I could have sworn I put shots on target, so... This is going to be our chill zone for a minute. We've got to lay low till the sun goes down, but we're getting close. I'd say a few more minutes and then we're going to get there. Once we get there, we're utilizing hills. Uh, pretty much we're killing lights and we're utilizing the hills. Quick street transfers and stuff like that so we're not on the roadways. Uh, we're going to be a ninja in the night. They're not going to know what hit them. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get anyone killed, but at least we're going to be able to light their cars up and give them a run for their money. 
uh, whenever they usually have things under control, but not knowing where it's uh, anything's coming from is going to be, I don't know, a pretty isolating feeling because it's going to be like the radio is not really enough, especially when the dude is in camouflage. Let's go ahead and see if I can pull out a sniper and see if I could get a little farther in, see if maybe he's pulled over. I don't really see anything. I see a police car at the fire station there. I see a few cars at the Sandy Shores police station. Looks to be a Charger and a Crown Victoria. Other than that, it's looking pretty quiet. Nothing on that road where we just shot at that guy. So we had a pretty good spot there, I'd say, too. It's going to be right there. That's where... Uh, we popped up in the roadway and shot him. If he got shot at and wondered what the hell was going on and he looked back, he probably saw me. But then again, I was in major camouflage, so maybe he wouldn't have saw too much of me. Ooh, I hear... I hear sirens. Probably at the yellow jack. If we stay in these bushes and walk around, we should be good. Even if someone rolls up on us. Go ahead and look through our binoculars here. See what we got going on. Looks like we've got one sheriff car uh, is going to be leaving the yellow jack. I want to see that would be a perfect shot on this guy, but it's ju he, it's just daytime and that's going to make it sketchy. So I don't want to do anything too crazy during the day. Oh, I feel like that biker is going to get swooped on. Yep, you're going to get swooped on. Yep. I saw that. Yep. Oh, man. Ain't that rough. That's rough. He's just hopping out. And it's because he cut those two cars off. I totally saw that one. But the way he was driving, though, you're driving like a jackass. All right, so we're going to let this sunset. Once it gets a little lower, we're going to start finding people that aren't on traffic stops or anything. That way we don't screw up their traffic stops or anything like that. Uh, we're still hitting pretty well up in the hills here. No one's done a search or anything. I don't even know if anyone's been realized that they've been shot at, but I can attest that they have been. I thought I just heard someone on a bike too, so. That's a cop right there. Going and doing some jank shit around a bike. What are you doing, bro? Oh, I wonder if he heard that. I don't want to get seen. Not when we're this close to being nighttime. I've waited 10, 15 minutes for this, damn it. Okay, so nighttime is almost among us, and we can go ahead and get it started here soon. There's major activity inside the yellow jack parking lot so that might be a good place to start off but then again i don't know if i want to kind of ruin whatever the hell is going on in there yeah i got to be really careful about that headlight too that headlight's going to be a pretty bad thing if it's on and i forget and i start running because uh, they're going to be able to track that headlight pretty much no problem uh, having a dirt bike of any kind is not going to be super quiet but in the end of the day it's going to be the best thing to maneuver throughout uh, pretty much everything Okay, it looks like the unit seemed to be leaving at this point. Beautiful stop on that charger. There is so many people at the Yellow Jack. It's not even funny. Okay, everyone seems to be going and minding their own business. We got a car that I think... No, it's not a police car. I thought it was. Okay, yeah, nighttime is here, so we're going to start uh, trying to find cops. And uh, if we find anyone in a good position, we're going to go ahead and just light them up like we did last time. I don't think I'm going to go for extreme killing. Every wow, that donk is over there flying in the air. I think we should try to do what we did before. 68, see if we can light someone up on 68. One of these have to be cops. Shit, I don't know. 
Man, these episodes always trip me out because I don't do this shit. This shit is like stressful and like obviously illegal as shit. So once we start it, it's on and cracking and they're going to be shooting back. It's not going to be like, oh, here's some handcuffs. Just throw them on yourself. We'll talk a little later. That is not how it's going to work. I think that was a sieve that we just shot out their freaking tail light, bro. Damn. How do we get him with the freaking pistol, but not anything else? How is that even a thing? Come on, give me a cop. Give me a cop. Give me a cop. That's not a cop. I don't know how we managed to shoot that car. That was, uh, that was pretty damn good. You know how weird it would be to be driving down the road and all of a sudden your tail light just pops? Okay, we can't waste our time here. We can't waste. Come on. Here we go. Oh, he just turned around. All right, we're hopping off and getting the assault. Okay, he definitely felt that. Oh yeah, there go the lights. Yeah, turn on your lights, punk mother. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Damn, bro. Oh, this gun is legit. I'm gonna take a minute, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little gun battle with him. Okay, we got to bounce. Okay. I don't know. Obviously, we hit him. I don't know if the pistol has better reach than the assault rifle that I'm using, but... Oh, shit. That's a cop right there. Yep. Fuck. We got to bounce. Okay, we've got to be set up here. Yeah, they know that someone's on a dirt bike. We got to be set up. We got to go get our targets. They're going to be trying to return fire, so... We've got to be careful. Okay, here they are. Okay. They're rolling up like a mofo. I don't know where they're going. I'm hitting his shit right now in the bush. Not really. My bike's next to me. So I made a wrong turn. Obviously they knew where the shots were coming from. He probably saw the tracers. Like the bullets flying through the, uh, the sky there. My heart's racing. Uh, he saw the bolts flying through the sky, so he was quickly able to locate where they were coming from. Pretty self-explanatory. And then I took off because I had put almost two full magazines in them. And I wasn't sure if it was doing anything. Just let him pass really quick. Wait for it. And we gotta bounce the same way we just came, bro. We gotta get up in the hills. No brake lights if we can. Okay, we got to get one here soon, dude. 
I gotta bust across the uh, 68 here. Oh, we're getting crazy with this bike, dude. Holy shit, did you see how sideways we just got? Okay, I gotta get out of the hot zone. I gotta get out of hot zone. Okay, let me get up the hill. Oh boy, they were swarming there for a second. I was starting to get a little concerned. Okay. Dude, we went off that like uh, jump there and it was so sketchy that we went completely sideways. That was, that was sketchy. I don't know if they saw me come across here. If they turn on this road, uh, they'll have seen where I went. I don't think they did though. Which is good. We're just gonna sit here for a second. We lit them up a lot. Every time we saw them, pretty much, we tried to get like 500 feet ahead, light them up, and then uh, continue to move if possible. I think someone's at the. Oh, that's just a whole bunch of people. That's probably all the people that were at the yellow jack there. Now are uh, at the gas station. Look at all the people heading onto that dirt road. I don't know if those are cops or what. Okay, we're at a pretty solid position. I'm going to go ahead and kill the engine. That way there's no extra noise in this area. I don't think they saw me cut across. Yeah, that's going to look to be unrelated police officers. But there's definitely police officers in that RV park area, I would assume. I think that's a cop possibly right there. Unless that's that whole group. They just moved spots. Holy shit. Okay, so again, I don't know if we're getting anyone, but we're definitely getting the cops all riled up. Um, if you get shot at like that and you're still, you're like trying to find out who and what, but you know it's high-powered rifles, then shit's gonna get pretty real. Someone stole my bike from the Yellow Jack. Seems legit. So it would probably be a smart of idea to let it calm down a little. They don't have an air unit or anything, so we're good on that aspect. Uh, but if they... Like before, when one of them saw us, they started chasing us. So that's kind of a little bit of an issue. Also, I've really got to watch my back because we don't want to be shooting. That's why it's like you take a few shots and then you bounce. I hear sirens still. I want to try to go for a kill shot. I think I've got them. Uh, I've got them riled up a little. Oh, what is going on over here? <laughs> what? <laughs> That dude just got tased. Where is the cop car? I don't even see a cop car there. Unless he was trying to be super slick. Oh, he's arrested and sat down. That would be too cheesy to take out that guy. Oh, he's bolting. Oh, shit. That cop was going hella fast. Oh. Oh. Okay, target down, target down. Target down in the middle of the road. So right now we're bouncing. We got to bounce from this location. Shots have been fired. So what we've got to do is we've got to go near the prison here and get across back over in those hills. Now they're going to see him and now it's going to get real. They're going to realize that one of their guys is down and we're not playing. It's not just, hey, let's just, let's just shoot the cop day. Oh, that was close. Let's just shoot the cop day. I gotta get over right here if possible. I'm doing it. Okay, so one, we've gotta make sure there's not a shit ton of cops in this area because of what we've been doing. They knew that I was over in this hill. Now we're starting to dwindle down our hiding areas. Oh yeah. You can tell it's been called out. Okay, yep, panic button has been received. They're sending out a ping. Oh shit, dude, it's going down. We got a nice shot, but for some stupid reason he decided to frickin' stop in the road. I'm sorry, dude, but it was your choice. Like I said, giving a cops run for their money. Dunes, though. 
Okay, now we're going across and we're gonna make our way. Oh shit. I gotta watch out for these rocks. We're making our way back to the hill that we were at. Actually, yeah, we were at this hill once for a very little time. And then we uh, went away from it. But we never actually shot anyone from it. It was just to kind of see what was going on because I heard a ton of sirens. Oh, mountain lion. I don't think we're going to see any cops over here. Because most of the stuff is going on on the other side over there. Um... But we did get a kill, and we, we're not only that, we have completely lit them up with a shit ton of rounds of uh, silenced assault rifle ammo, which has been, I'm sure, interesting on their end, because they're just getting lit up. I am legitimately attempting to kill them, but from that far away, bullets are just flying and their head's not moving, so it's pretty much that simple. Let's see if we got any movement inside the desert here. I see no hero cops. Oh, I see a unit over there. Oh, I wonder if that's... I wonder if that's the squad that was dealing with uh, those guys in the parking lot. Which, technically, we took the shot over from that side. I don't know if anyone was able to see it. Oh, we got lights. I think that's from the Tahoe that we shot down. The Tahoe that's sitting in the middle of the road right there. Because he wasn't far from the location in the first place. Oh yeah, we got a lot of police activity going on. L obviously, it's our fault, but a lot of police activity going on. Oh, that sounds close. We are the man of the night right now. We are working the night. I said I, I can't waste any of the night time, so us laying low for a hot second is definitely a good thing because of how much chaos that we've invoked right now. We got an officer down... It seems like to them probably that it's a, you know, fucking five shooters. You know what I mean? Like we're everywhere. But in reality, I'm just moving around so much. Oh, look, this guy. Let's see if we can get him. Damn, that's loud. Holy shit, we were so far away, I don't even think he heard it and or realized he was being shot at. Honest to God. Like, there there was no way. And if he did, he'd probably think they were at that hill right there. I don't know, he booked it around that corner, so it's giving me the theory that he actually... Had to have felt that. I'm pretty sure GTA wouldn't have been that crappy to where they're like, okay, so you can see this side of the map, but you can't shoot it. So, oh no, the sun. No, I'm like a vampire. That guy's all in. Oh, they're doing crazy stuff over there, dude. What do you think this is? Okay, I don't see anyone, but I heard a bunch of sirens kick off there for a second. Oh, here we go. No, they have to be seeing... They have to be. They have to be seeing and feeling that. Oh, yeah, he's moving every time. <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, man. We got to get cover. The daytime will ruin us. What are they doing in there, bro? I'm just going to keep... Oh, I think we might have got a headlight.
Okay, they're coming in. We gotta bounce. We gotta bounce. No one's over here, so we're bouncing. It's daytime. We gotta get off the roads. We gotta get off the roads. We're going to, uh... We're going to Stab City. We gotta get off the streets right now. They're probably coming in Code 3 as fast as they can. If they see me, take this right. Holy shit! So they definitely either heard it or, or felt it on their cars. I'm really not sure which one it was. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I'm parking the bike right here. We're saving it really quick. We're going inside this uh, safe house. Holy crap! That is intense. It is intense when you don't want to get shot at yourself, but your whole main goal is shooting at everyone else. So it's definitely one of those situations where your heart starts racing and you go, Shit, is someone coming up behind me? Is they not? Or do they do they have a helicopter out? Is a sniper on me? What is going on? So it's kind of one of those situations where, like, once you take a few shots, you gotta kind of move. And I stayed at that sniper location for way longer than I should have in the first place. Okay, so we are at the water tanks just by Stab City. Now, what I'm thinking is, instead of just sitting and waiting for nighttime, I can call out a 911 of a shooting at the Stab City, and then I can go ahead and light them up. They won't even think that I'm at the water towers, and I won't be on the water towers, which will make it so that way I can't get away, but I can get on my bike and then go ahead and make my way, I would say, yeah, down this way right here. So it's going to bring me just down Joshua's dirt road, which would be perfect because it's going to put me kind of right back where I was doing all this stuff on the mountains here, Sandy Shores, and then this little hill off right here, which it's been quiet for some time. Uh, but we might as well get the cops back to this way and then we can take off again. Search this hilltop, 219 of anything. Let's see, 263, where is that? Uh, we'll do something here. So we'll do... Finds... Several... Shell casings from a sniper rifle and assault rifle. And look to be tracks as well from a two wheeled bike. I heard a uh, siren, which was a little concerning. So I'm not sure. Like, my bike is bike parked under the shade here I don't know if they're coming down this road but I sure hope they're not not yet at least I don't think these guys have any idea that there's a sniper trained on them right now they probably don't even see me oh he's in his little race gear and stuff isn't that cool dude if they come up here there's gonna be a major issue because they're going to expose my spot. Oh, I think the cops are coming. I heard a yelping of a siren, which means he was close. Where is he at? Yeah, if these guys come up the hill here, uh, it's, it's done so. They're going to have to get shot because they're going to expose my spot and then call the police. Because they definitely probably heard the news that there's a shooter on the loose. And they're going to want to help apprehend him. Because that's pretty dangerous. Especially if he was training a sniper on you. And could have killed you. So that, that could have get to a pretty sketchy situation right there. Oh, is that a cop? Is that a cop? Or is it a minivan? Damn you, minivan! Alright, I'm going to have to do... G-O-O-C. They said they heard a large amount of... Shots being fired and stayed inside for safety. Oh shit. Damn it. No. <laughs> okay, it just started back up, ladies and gentlemen. But we're taking off. 
I'm going up on the hill, actually, and we're going to open more fire on him. Because he won't even know I'm up here. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Hear all the sirens? Where is he at? Where is he at? Oh, shit. Here they come. Where'd he go? Oh, is that him? That's him. Oh, yeah. Panic button is received, baby. Two for two. Two for two on my manic episode. Oh, this is a dope spot. Oh. This is how we keep them away from their boy. Oh, reload. Reload, baby. What's up, motherfuckers? Oh. We're getting them. Ah. <laughs> you better. I'm bouncing. They're returning fire. That sounds so real. Who are they shooting at? <laughs> what are they shooting at? I, re I left. I mean, I don't even know who they're shooting at anymore. Oh, what a great spot. What's this? Oh, how scary. How scary would that be? I gotta keep my head low, because they don't have snipers, they just have M4s. That guy was last under the bridge. Where you going, big guy? You get to- <laughs> What the- Oh, he got his assault rifle, probably. <laughs> if they start making their way up the hill, we gotta bizounce. I don't think they do that, though. That would be super sketchy. This guy is straight pinned. Who is that? That is just a LOD. Oh, it's another cop car. He's gone. He's gone. He ain't sticking around. You better get out of your car, dude. What do you think this is? Dude, this is a wicked spot. I gotta make sure everyone stays at bay. Oh, you better get- I'm just toying with them now. Oh, <laughs> we got him! Oh, officer down! This is a wicked- how is that, three? Oh, that poor guy. They need to get out of- that's a hot zone right there. That is a hot zone. Oh, we got another Yelper. Where are you at? Dude, this is- this is a great spot. We are hidden in the rocks. Hidden in the damn rocks. They're gonna need an SRU response ASAP, but I don't think they have them. I'm gonna let him get a sec. They got units down in several locations. I don't know if they got someone to that Tahoe unit that we took out. I didn't mean to get that guy. I'll be honest. That last guy was accidental. I guess when we're shooting at someone from so far that if you happen to shoot and you get them, that's just kind of how it goes. Like, I was I was content with two, but I guess three's okay. <laughs> like, I wasn't expecting that. It's quiet right now. Let's go ahead and give him a chance to... Uh, Relax here. Oh, is he getting back in his car? What is that? Is assault rifle out of his hand? What is he doing? I don't even think they know where I was shooting from. There it is. How are they? Why are they messaging me? I don't, I don't see why they're messaging me. That doesn't seem like it's staying in character that well.
Okay, everything's still quiet. I'm sure a panic button went out for that last guy that we... Sh I don't know. I'm not even getting death notifications anymore. So I don't know who we're killing or what the deal is. Maybe it's not registering in the game. Maybe it's just uh, the DOJ death script or something like that. So they're technically still alive but dead. Okay, we got more. Oh... Oh, got a tire! <laughs> I made him crash into the wall! <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I made him crash into the freaking wall. Oh, he was like, oh, I'm chilling. No, I'm not gonna get shot. Is that right, buddy? Is that right? We got a perfect spot, my dude. Perfect spot. Obviously, we have a trail not too far down from our location, but we should be able to get out of here. Yeah, I can go up the spine. Oh, shit. SRU. out the whole police force because it's super late at night. There's only like 10, 11 cops. <laughs> oh, that was some good sniping. Oh, Chars, I'm sorry. Oh, Chars, I'm sorry. Fuck. All right, let's scan Joshua. Oh, they're doing an extraction of that officer. I could kill him with how how my sniping is on point tonight. I could I could dunzo this guy. They're going to have two that they're going to have to extract out of here now. They tried to get snipers and go all legito on me, but that dude, I've been working it today. I've been working it like nobody's business, okay? They could put me in the next uh American sniper movie and we're going to take it out. We're going to do what we have to do. And we still got our getaway bike, which is pretty damn good unless some guys going like straight hero cop then uh, we've locked this place down I would say pretty damn good I don't see anyone in uh, Stab City or on the road that leads to it this guy's still trying to extract his guy but he's not doing I could kill him what is he doing bro I am gonna teach you a lesson watch this I'm gonna go for his headlight Oh shit! Oh shoot! Oh. Oh. Shit, okay, I've been hit. I've been hit. I've been hit. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, they were doing an assault on me through the woods! <laughs> I've been hit. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. I am bouncing. I'm hit. I'm injured. I'm injured. I gotta jump off the bike and go under the bridge. Oh. <laughs> They're gonna kill my ass. <laughs> They're gonna kill me. Go, 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 go. Oh, I gotta hide here. I gotta hide here. Oh, I've been injured, but the game only made me injured. It didn't kill me, so I'm, I'm losing blood right now. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, they're responding right above me! I don't even think they're gonna give me a chance to frickin' give up. <laughs> they're just gonna shoot my ass. Oh, I don't know why when I get shot that thing goes through. I need to ditch these guns. Oh, maybe I'm not injured through the game. They're just rolling, so they're not even stopping. Maybe they're not expecting me to be under the bridge. I don't know. Shit, I don't know what to do here. I need to get out of here, but I'm, I'm shot. 
Oh god. They're rolling. There it is. He stops right above me. I'm ditching all my weapons. I'm ditching them all. That way I don't get shot anymore. They were rolling up on me. Oh man. I have a feeling they think I'm here, but I don't see how they would have. Oh, unless they saw the bike. No, the bike's gone. The bike is 110% sunk. I'm just going to put my hands up in case they do come around there. That way I'm just not going to get shot. I'm prematurely putting my hands up. Oh, is that about... <laughs> he's right there. Okay, well, if he sees me, I don't want to die. So I'm just going to go to jail. So fuck that. Because I don't even have the guns anymore. <laughs> so I don't know how he would have saw me unless that bend is just so extreme. Let me that... see your hands. Man, I already got him hands. up. What the fuck do you mean? You blind? I can't see him too well. Back well, out towards fucking me. Let's go. Shit. Come on. Hands up. Look, I didn't put a bullet hands. in you. Oh, shit. I'm falling. You nearly did. You... <laughs> I'm falling. Where'd it go? <laughs> like... Where'd it go? Give me a second while I fall into the abyss. Uh, three, two. Where the fuck? What? I don't know how, right, why. Well, I guess you're over here now. Let me see your hands over here. Drop to your knees. Drop to your knees. Let's go. Drop to your well, knees. What is it? Hands up or get on my knees? God, you guys need to make up your mind. Oh, I want you to have your hands up and I want you down on your knees. I don't know how he found me. That seems a little... There's only one here, so... You... I pull my kid. I got one well, they're definitely going to find my, <laughs> excuse me, my guns. Units. I'm all by myself here. No, you're not. You got a cop over there that's crawling in the creek. I think I might have been shifted a little too much. Might have looked under the bridge. I don't see how they would have looked under the bridge. That seems a little odd to look under that exact bridge. Because I could have just dipped on the bike. What you know what you I doing, mean? Man? I just want to let you know you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You had a right to an attorney. I'm just going to tell him I'm camping. You're going to by San Andreas at no cost. Do you understand he's right to have him too, sir? Yep. You need to get your act together, my man. I'm camping. You know how many lives you took today? <laughs> I'm oh, okay. camping. I don't have any guns on me. Okay. I ain't going to say much except I'm camping. Probably not the best thing to say anything until a lawyer is present. <laughs> Anyways, cause so more units get here, we'll we just took car. out half the police you're gonna force. The station. You're going to be talked to. They're going to be questioned. Or questions that we got to ask you, obviously. I mean. I just want. I need to talk to my lawyer because I was camping. Where, where is the sniper? <laughs> like I said, I was camping. So. Where <laughs> is the sniper? Dude, I all I had was camping shit. Oh. No, no, no. It's, it's down here under the bridge. <laughs> I, I saw it when I walked down. Oh, yeah. I think some homeless guy dropped a whole bunch of guns down there. Oh. Really? <laughs> so. I just didn't see you hop on your little your little moped or whatever you were on and, and snipe at a few cops. I didn't take maybe 30 shots at you. I'm trying to take I you may out. or may not be right shot everywhere. from whatever the guy that you were possibly shooting at. I think uh, Ricochet hit me or something. <laughs> Just, just kind of looks like you. I just might have kind of... I mean, a lot of people kind of look the same. What are you saying? All campers look the same? This is 2019, dude. I mean, not a lot of people are wearing a, a ball of <laughs> or whatever the fuck's on your head. <laughs> and run around with snipers and kill cops. It's yeah. a sweat towel, and this is for hunting. It looks like a ball of clava. I'm you sorry? hunt cops? I mean, I don't know if someone else is, but... Okay. Well, listen, Mr. Cop Hunter. At this time, you're under arrest. That's a lot where's of labels where's for where's 2019. <laughs> like... You're right. It is 2019. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt with this one, but I know it was you. I'm going to do me. Wallet is in back pocket. No, my, my stuff's in the uh, back pocket. I mean, you're lucky I didn't put one right in your dome as soon as I saw you. I'm sorry. Pants down. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, a pat, pat's down, not pants down. <laughs> God. 
God damn, dude. Come on. I was like, what the shit is going on? This is not legal. <laughs> like... I'm not trying to molest you now. Just come on. Is that how we pat people down? <laughs> do you, I mean, do you want me to pitch? No, I don't. I don't want anyone to pull my pants down. I don't think that's appropriate okay, camping. Well, I mean, I patted you down. Unless you misinterpreted me patting you down. I don't think we would like to see that. Okay. I found his camping tools or whatever he's calling them. Actually, my oh, camping tools are boys? over by my tent. He's Where's your tent at? Gun for oh, honey. just down the river Probably, there, westbound. The, the no. big guns are used for Where's your bike? Thing, you know. I didn't have a bike. <laughs> you never on a motorcycle? No, I drove here. Oh, got a motorcycle, I'm guessing? No, I would have rode a motorcycle if that was the case. <laughs> okay, listen. Stop bullshitting me, I'm not stupid. I've seen you driving Hey, you're lucky I'm man. answering questions. I wanted to talk to my lawyer anyway, so I'm answering questions, and then right. you don't like what you're hearing, so... Well, call your lawyer, then. How do you expect call me to call my lawyer? I don't know. I mean, Are you going to provide me a like phone? Cops. I'm sure you can figure out how to call a lawyer. You're the judge, jury, and executioner all in one. <laughs> Do you I want me to execute you? Uh, shit. He's one of our most talented on the force. I can see that. Uh. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm, I'm not here to, to push you around or nothing, but you did just kill like five cops. So no, you're just here to prosecute me, judge me, and then execute me. That, that's it. I mean, that's right pretty now. much the gist of your job, it seems like. So you're just taking care of all four corners no, here. You could not. just bring it to the judge and be like, I handled it all on the side of the road. <laughs> like, <laughs> and if I did? I road, mean, if you did, he'd be like, well, I guess you saved us some time. So thanks. Like <laughs> Exactly. So that being said, um, I'm going to I'm gonna load you in the back of this Tahoe. I'm gonna bring my car back from the fucking aliens, and uh, we're gonna go from there. You're gonna be waterboarded, I mean, questioned at the station. Basically the same thing. <laughs> oh, good. I'll stand up. That way I'm not being dragged. And I'm gonna carry you just in case you decided that you didn't want to walk today. I mean, I was Once camping, I so I, I had no problem being active. Okay. I well, appreciate we'll, we'll that, stay, though. We'll stay with that. You were camping. Um, we'll find out when we get to the station. I don't I don't know what getting to the station is going to prove with me camping or not, but okay. <laughs> I don't see how that's going to help. Yeah, I wouldn't want that homeless guy's hunting tools to, uh, you know, go off or anything. You don't know how stable they are. <laughs> Just fucking with them I mean, at this point. I don't know a homeless guy that carries a pistol and three... I mean, clearly a homeless guy that needs to eat. It's 29. Exactly. So don't be ashamed if someone is going to carry around an assault rifle and all that stuff. Alright, let's take him down the station. Um, I have an investigation unit there that's ready to question him. I ain't answering shit. Okay. okay, so it looks like we are finally on our way to the station after being in game for an hour and 40 minutes. Uh, I would say we got it up to about five or six on the death toll there, so that was pretty fancy. I wasn't expecting that, but they started raising it up a little, especially because it was daytime. I knew hey, that's camper, I'm sorry my Tahoe doesn't go as fast as your bike did, but we'll get you to the station in the Jeffy, okay? Well that's cool, but my car is over at the side of the creek anyways, so Oh you have a car and a bike. No, just a car. Oh, okay. So the bike wasn't yours? No. You guys keep mentioning a bike, but I don't know how many times I have to say I was driving a car. So, anyways, we're going to the station. Um, I'm not going to answer any questions because if we just did that, the best thing to do is probably talk to a lawyer. And uh, that's probably it. So, I would say that was pretty interesting. We got a pretty good thumbnail earlier, I think, of us being in the tree. So, that's going to be interesting as well, too. I should have got one up on that hill in the daytime. But it's all right. Um, that would have been a good one. I was in the, I was in the thick of it, though. <coughs> Excuse me. I was in the thick of it, though. Uh, but those cops, I should have known, and I should have stuck to what I said. Never stay in one spot for too long and pop shots. Because if you do that, they're going to be able to dial down where you're at. Uh, just by kind of hearing 
the shots and all that. So basically, after doing what we did, um, they were able to dial down exactly where we were. They were moving up on all angles, and once he started taking a shot and I got hit in the arm a few times, um, which they still haven't done anything about, so hopefully I'll see medical staff when I get to the jail, because that's not good. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was interesting. That was... I usually don't do this, but I know you guys wanted to see something like this, so I, uh, definitely... I, I don't know. For me, it's hard because I don't really want to go in there and kill everyone. But then again, they don't have to be dead for that long. Once I get medical treatment, they're good to go respawn a car again. So uh, that's why at the end there, I was like, okay, you know what? If they're going to come and kill me, I'm going to definitely try to kill as many as I can. But I got to a situation where I could not kill anymore. They were flanking me and uh, it was go time. Look at how many people they have there. They don't even have a lot of people when they picked me up. <laughs> okay, well, we're getting placed in jail for camping. Uh, we're sticking to it at this point since we don't want to say... Uh, we did that. Don't want to glorify that. Uh, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You guys got a little crazy episode. Now we can kind of get back to some fun stuff. And if any cool things spark up that would invoke uh, mayhem or anything like that, we can definitely do it coming up here on the channel, uh, getting ready for 2020 of uh, DOJ, which we should be getting close to that 1K episode here in like 200 episodes, I think. So that's pretty cool. So definitely start doing some really cool stuff like this. Obviously, when things... When things Excuse me, when things like this happen, people get a little uh, crazy and upset. And uh, yeah, it, uh, you know what they say. So it just, it <laughs> because everyone's been killed, they're like, shit, there's like one cop left. If one more person dies, it's like the whole freaking squad has been killed. And that's what happens kind of when it's nighttime because it's now 12, 17 in the morning. So I guess it's a little later. So the server has dwindled as it is since it's later and it's Monday tomorrow anyways. So... People got to, damn, 570 seconds. Oh, man. That's great. I guess that's what happens when you have multiple murders of an LEO. Uh, you can't just get released super quick, but I guess that's perfect. So you can do E to continue, so you don't have to see that, though. Technically, I wouldn't be cuffed, so I am 65. Oh, good. I'm glad I can open a MDT. Oh, it's a prison guard walking back and forth. Yeah, quite the interesting. So we're going to go ahead and uh, spend our stint in jail here instead of just getting out of game. But we are going to end the episode here. So thank you all so much for coming out and watching this episode of DOJRP. And we will see you next video.